YouTube, we are back with none other than the advanced beginner dribble tutorial, the long anticipated dribble tutorial. We just hit 500,000 motherfucking subscribers. I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all. We've been going crazy on the recent videos, the jump shot vid, the six vid, the G-Man vid. Y'all been showing so much love, I had to come back with the dribble tutorial. You already know, I'ma go ahead and get through it because we've been doing this. This is what we do on this channel. We do this every single year. This year ain't no different. So we gonna go ahead and start it off. You see the controllers on the top. Go ahead and go to settings, people. We do this every year, you already know. So you already know what we have to start it off with. We gonna have to go to the controller settings and make sure you got it on absolute so that we can get through this right now. And before we do anything, I want to just make sure that we all have tight handles hall of fame all right now that you have done that i need to go through this real quick so everybody gets a good understanding there are two types of dribbling this year that i've seen there is the meta guard dribbling which is the speed glitch they kind of spam the speed glitch they're quick around the court that's cool and then there is the dribble god meta, which is the spins, the extra, you know what I'm saying? The glitch moves, the all that stuff. All I am, people, just to quickly explain, is I am the bridge between both. I have based my style on a mix between both of them so that the dribble gods could get what they want from me. And even if you a meta guard, you can get what you want from me. And that's ISO, that screens, that's any play style. My play style is the meta play style of dribble gods and meta guards. So if you're watching this video right now and you want to use certain parts to add to your style, that's all I exist for. I'm the Dribble God Sensei himself. I'm the greatest Dribble God tutorial, Dribble Move tutorial master, Grandmaster, Omega Grand God Sensei himself. Hit that like, hit the subscribe. We do this every year and let's get into it. All right, now starting it off, what you're going to need, people, you see all the six here, but the main six that you're going to need for sure, dribble style, power, or anything, it doesn't really matter. Moving crossover, for sure, you're going to want Pro 8, or, you know, if you don't want to use it, it don't really matter. Behind the back, Pro 3 is important. Basic 1, you definitely are going to need. Hesitation, Pro 1 or Pro 4, Giannis and the it doesn't really matter. Your six size up. Park size up 14 is the main one you're going to need. You're going to need park size up 14 that is important it doesn't really matter the basic size of pro 5 or pro what was it pro pro 5 or pro 3 either one and then size up package pro 5 you're gonna need that that's your curry you know what i'm saying you're gonna need that one and those are pretty much the ones that you're gonna need all right now the first move we're gonna get into it is a move that is highly requested is the bd cancel this is what we call it the bd cancel named after bad dribbler himself the one who got it who found it you already know shout out to the bro but check this out people this is what it is as you can see boom boom as you can see everybody i'm wondering how steezo how you do that fast ass spin it's called the bd cancel people and it is pretty much the basis of how we get into our combos this year look at it as you can see it's just it's just crazy you know, just to show y'all a little bit of the dribble move stuff into the, come on people, you already know what it is. And if you're looking at the controllers, make sure you keep a good look on it. But since you have park 14 on and an 86 or 85 ball control, you need to be able to do this. As you press L3 or L2, it will get this little animation. You see that animation right there? That's what happens when you activate the park handles with tight handles Hall of Fame, park 14. It is L3, or if you tap L2, it's also L2. So make sure you get that down. Now, after you press L3 or L2, because they both do the same thing as you can see, after you press that, you need to be holding R2 or right trigger at the same time. And then after you press L3 or L2 to activate the park handles, you need to hit diagonal down towards the ball hand. So if the ball is in my left hand, you need to hit diagonal down with the left stick. And if you do it all together, see the ball's in my left hand, I'm going to do it all together. Hold R2, press L3 or L2, and then press diagonal down with the left stick, and it'll look like that. Now, it's kind of a delayed action. Like I said, you don't want to do it right away because if you do it right away, it'll look like that. But if you wait a little bit, hit L2 and then diagonal down, it'll get a clean one like that, as you can see. You need to get that down, people. This is one of the most important moves in the game to chaining your moves this year into shit. And as you can see, that's L3. Or if you press L2, it does it too. Watch. If you do that, it messed up. But look, boom, boom. 
or L3, boom. Now you could also change the buttons configuration on the settings if you want to, to make it a different button. I know some people use L1 so that they don't have to press L3 or you know what I'm saying? They use a different button, that's fine. But for the main point and for how 2K has it, it is L3, so boom, boom, wait. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now that you got the BD canceled down, you could just do it on command as you could see boom what you want to do is learn how to chain with it now the move that we use to chain out of it the most is none other than the Chris Paul or the nutmeg whatever you want to call it it's that move right there you should already know how to do it but if you don't know how to do it I will go through it real quick all it is is a behind the back and flick up at the same time you know what I'm saying so you're gonna run up behind the back flick up and the behind the back it is diagonal down towards the opposite ball hand while moving forward and then just flick up so you put it all together it'll look like that you see if you don't flick up after the behind the back quick enough it'll look like that that's when you know you're doing it wrong but if you do it quick enough you do diagonal down towards the opposite ball hand and flick up with the right stick all while holding r2 and moving forward it'll look like this and that's what you want that's what you want so now that you got that down you're going to want to combine the two you want to do the bd cancel l3 diagonal down hold r2 so that and then do flick down with the right stick and then flick up so all together, it'll look like that. Now this move is really good for if they're just on you because it doesn't really get bumped that much. Like I said, you could either hit them with the boom, basic one back, and we're gonna be teaching y'all that. I'm gonna be teaching y'all that right now, but you need to learn these two first. But what you wanna do is, say he's pressing you, you got a lock on you, he's pressing you. You could always just hit him with boom and you go right around him. It's really good for just getting around your defender because it doesn't really get bumped too much unless they're in the perfect position. And then once you get really good, it's, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be on the right. And then you could always just hit them back. Boom. You're gonna get through it eventually. You see what I'm saying? It's just really hard to get bumped, but that's all together. One more time, L3, diagonal down left while all holding R2 to get the BD cancel. And then after that, flick down with the right stick and then flick up with the right stick at the same time to get the CP3, the nutmeg. All together, it will look like that. That is very important to learn, people, because there's so much you can do with it. And I'm gonna be teaching y'all right now, but those are the basics you have to get down to do these combos. Anywho. All right, now that you learned the BD cancel combo into the Chris Paul, you want to learn how to basic one spin out of it to do this combo right now. And if you don't know how to basic one spin, let me teach you real quick. Basic one spin is what you're going to want to have on. And all you want to do is make sure your angle's right. You want to run forward, then do a spin. That's it. And the spin uh, with the right stick is around from like, if you have the balls in your left hand, you want to go nine to six o'clock counterclockwise with the right stick. So just do that. Run forward, do that. Make the rotation. And the trick about this move is if your angle is wrong, let's say you're moving too much to the side, your spin's not gonna be good enough. See, your basic one spin's not gonna be good enough. Look, if you move to the side, you try to do it, it's not gonna be good enough. You wanna make sure that your player is as straight as possible to get the best spin back. If he's running straight, look at it, boom. You see? The straighter you are, the better the spin back is. I don't know why it's like that, but it is like that, people. If you're doing it like this, you're doing it wrong. Same thing with the right hand. You'll be running forward with the right hand, you know, with the ball in the right hand, you're gonna flick that, boom. Like I said, the, the angle is from six to three to six o'clock or nine to six o'clock, depending on where you go, you see? And you wanna just get your basic one spins down. And then when you combine that with what we just learned, the BD cancel, boom, and then boom. Now this move is just really good, people, because you have a lot of options with it. Like I said, if he tries to just press you, you can literally glitch right around him. If he does play the drive, you could always just do the spin back into the three. It's a wide open three every time. I use that move a lot. And if you want to angle it, you do your BD cancel, Chris Paul going to the side. You could even basic one spin back to the left. So as you could see, you could do it. Watch this. Boom. Do a double crossover, tap up, up. And then do it again, boom, double crossover, tap up, up. You could literally do this until you get open if you really wanted to, people. Now, like I said, if you wanted to mix this little move up with different things, let's say you a meta dribbler, you could just use it like this, as I said, like you see, just to make it like super hard to guard you. I mean, look at that. Now, you, you could use this stuff within anything and just be different and super unguardable. Now, if y'all want me to do a meta dribble tutorial, y'all let me know. It's really easy. Like I said, I know how to do that stuff. You just have to kind of speed glitch into quick stops. It's really simple. It's definitely the quickest way around the court. It's good for that reason because you could always, you know what I mean? It, it, it's good to know 
because you can mix it in like i said i like to know it so i can mix it in with other stuff and just keep myself super unguardable you definitely don't want to put yourself in the box of only knowing how to do that stuff you get what i'm saying you want to just be universal because like i said people this the this ain't gonna be here next year so you don't want to be in a box of just knowing how to do one thing because then when the new 2k comes out like what are you gonna do when this ain't in the game you don't want to be completely relying on this stuff you want to have other stuff in your arsenal all right moving on people to keep the tutorial going i'm gonna teach y'all how to what the hell was that okay anywho to teach y'all to keep the tutorial going i'm gonna teach y'all how to do what is called the fg slide a lot of people were like steezo how do you do the momentum quick stop i know that's what it looks like but it's called the fg slide i don't know why they called it that but it is what it is shout out to whoever named it but this move is really good like i said because it's a good way to end out of the double crossover going sideways because you could just it's it pretty much stops you you could shoot right away off of it all right, so to do this move, all you want to do is know how to momentum. If you don't know how to momentum by now, you need to learn it. All you want to do is flick up with the right stick. So you just want to do a crossover. Use the left stick as a crossover as well. And then look, boom. See? So up with the right stick, side to the left stick. So all together, it'll just look like that. You see? Stand still. Flick up. Flick to the side. You do a, a momentum. You could even spam it if you wanted to or whatever. Yeah, I don't really like spamming it. But so once you learn the momentum, you're going to want to hold R2 with it. And then after the momentum, you want to hold L2 and then press down with the right stick. So it'll look like if you do that, it's too early. But if you do it, it'll look like that. And then you let go right in the middle. You see? You get it down. It just looks like that. You got to do it all together. So all together, it's momentum while holding R2 and then press down with the right stick after while holding L2 and then you let go of L2 in the middle of it and it'll look like that. It's really easy. You just have to kind of figure out the time. And like I said, if you mess up, it'll do the regular hop. You don't want the regular hop. You want to let go of L2 in the middle so it kind of cancels the hop. And that way, when you do it, so let's say you go out here, boom, you can just shoot right away off of it. That's pretty much, you see what I mean? That's what you want to do. So again, momentum while holding R2 and down. So momentum, down, you want to get that down right there. And then after you get that down, you want to hold L2 after the momentum and let go of it in the middle of the R2 down. Look at the controller, put it in slow-mo. And then like I said, you could shoot off of it or you could even do this, look. You see, you could even do. It's a really good move, people. This is really, this is like a real way, good way to end your clips or to just shoot when you get open. That move is just really good. I love it. I like ending it after the moves because you could even combo it, like I said, with the move we learned before. Double cross. Green. All right, now that you know how to BD cancel into basic one, you know how to FG slide. I'm going to teach y'all this little, I don't even know what you want to call it, this Steezo slide, because I don't see nobody else do it but me. But it's the BD cancel into like running back and pressing L2. So let's say you do, you go, and you're like right here, and he's playing down. You could just, that move right there, it's, it's a kill every time for some reason. I have no idea why, but you see, I don't know what that is. You just BD cancel and it puts you backwards. You press L2 and you shoot. Now to do this, it's really simple because you know how to BD cancel. It's, you know, park move, holding R2 and then diagonal to do that. So for this, all you want to do is BD cancel with the park move, holding R2, but press instead of diagonal down left, if the ball's in your left hand, instead of diagonal down left, you want to press just left and your player will do this right here. Watch. Wait. See? Boom. 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 And then after you do that, all you want to do, press L2 afterwards. And then he'll do like a little run back. It's kind of like a walk back if you think about it. So he's on you. You know what I'm saying? Do some stuff like that. Let me kind of take over. So that's a move where if you're really kind of just, let's say you're like right here. You see what I mean? It just puts you right back to the three. It's a good little just walk back move. It's very quick too. I see, I see some of the meta guards do it. They do it like this. They like do like that. And then they run back. But 
this way right here is just even quicker if you just know how to do it because look nobody expects that you get what i'm saying because if you if you go in the other way which is kind of like you know and then do that you kind of see it coming a little bit but this way it's so fucking quick and you can just do anything you want out of it you get what i'm saying so that's a move you can just catch him off guard and like i said to do this you just want to press the bd cancel instead of diagonal down you just want to flick to the left and then press l2 afterwards the ball's in your right hand you want to do it opposite way like i said you just got flick right after the park handle so the ball's in your right hand people same thing l3 l2 same thing and if you wanted to you can do the escape afterwards like i said let's say they still on you like they play it you could just do that you could even speed glitch out of it if you wanted to it's kind of crazy look you do whatever you want people it really doesn't matter now, i'm gonna teach y'all another move that i only see really me do it's kind of a bd cancel i don't even know what it is it's this right here and you can get it off at any time. It's like a BD cancel into explosive behind the back. And this move is really good because it kind of can't really get interrupted too much. Because that right there is going to get the bump off of you. And if you really wanted to just be a weirdo, you could definitely spam this until it gets open. You get what I'm saying? And to do this, it's fairly simple. If you have the BD cancel on lock and lock down, you just do a BD cancel, you tap L2 after, then you do an explosive behind the back by holding R2 and pressing diagonal down after. So BD cancel, L2, and it should look like that, as you can see. BD cancel, L2, he'll do that. And then after he does that, you press R2 diagonal and then use your left stick to point yourself to the right. So boom, look at the controller. And then, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do it one more time, look at the controller. L2, explosive. And to do the explosive, you got to hold R2, press diagonal down right, and then hold right with the left stick, like diagonal upright, so like that. And it do the opposite for the other way. As you can see, this move is really good. You can do it to go to the midi and then combine it with that one move to do that. There's just so much things you could do with it. I don't even know what to call it. Not, and let me tell you something, bro. Not everything really needs a name, people. Like, we, we, we see what it is. It's a BD cancel into an explosive behind the back. Now, I could call this the Steezo shuffle, the Steezo whoop dee blah, 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 blah. But y'all y'all see what it is, people. I ain't even got to name it. Yeah, so like I said, to do that, though, people, you want to do your BD cancel, hit L2 after, and do an explosive behind the back. And as simple as that. All right, hopefully by this part of the video, you have your BD cancels down. It's really important because I want to go deeper into it because the dribbling in this game just goes so deep. So once you get your BD cancels down, I want to teach y'all how to BD cancel into a sham god. All you want to do is BD cancel, hold L2, and then press diagonal right up with the left stick until it looks like this, until you kind of hold this position and the ball switches hands. You see how the ball switches hands after I do it? You just kind of want to get that. That's the beginning of this move right there. And then after that, you want to do a sham god. And to do a sham god after that, you want to keep on holding R2, flick diagonal down with the right stick, and then flick up. Kind of like the old, like, little nutmeg Chris Paul, but it's going to look different because it's going to be out of this. And you'll get that right there. You see what I mean? So BD cancel, hold L2, ball's going to switch hands, and then diagonal down up with the right stick all together. You know, you want to get a cleaner one. You gotta kinda wait till the ball switches hands. And you wanna get it locked in with the L2 while holding L2. So BD cancel, hold L2, hold, you know, kinda forward right with the angle till it looks like that. That's how you'll know you're getting it when it looks like that. And then just do a sham god. Flick diagonal down right, up. And then you can basic one out of it. See what I mean? Do stuff like that. If you're this is this is more for the dribble gods if you want to get a clip, because this is beautiful to get a clip with as I as you, you know, as you can see. Just kinda ah. Into the FG, green. You know what I mean? You could BD cancel straight into the basic one. You don't even got a Chris Paul. BD cancel into Sham God. You could BD cancel behind the back, L2. You know what I mean? You could just do whatever you want, really. The possibilities are endless. That's pretty much the basics, though, people. You know, I don't really think there's more to it. That's what I really wanted to get through for people who kind of just didn't know what the heck to start with. That's pretty much what you can do 
to make sure that you get yourself off to a good just understanding and basis of everything that this is and uh, i just want to say real quick for the people that that do this type of stuff you really are some of the most skilled players in the game if you could do this type of stuff while still winning on any level versus locks versus park versus stage you really have some of the most stick skill in the game and you have to understand that people because to do this stuff you really are putting yourself at a disadvantage and you still going for it because you way better off at just spamming the speed glitch but not everybody wants to do that because it kind of is like belittling like damn what, what did dribbling turn into for me to just have to do the simple move and it's kind of funny how everybody in the past used to say, Steezo, all you do is spam dribble moves. And now if you don't spam a dribble move, the speed glitch, you're not comp. And you're not, you know what I'm saying? You just, you suck. So what happened, people? Did you really have a problem with me spamming dribble moves? Or did you have a problem because the dribble moves that I was spamming was way too hard? It's, it's cool now because it's easy to do, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is really just crazy how they put it. But yeah, if you do any of this stuff, if you can just be above... The meta, to me, you have the most stick skill on this game. Because like I said, doing this ISO, no screens, no rebound. If I miss, I have nobody to get a rebound for me. It's all on me. That's the most stick skill in the game to me. You know what I mean? You can cook up, look good on the video game, and win? Oh, yeah, you a, you, you, you the greatest. You the greatest. There's, there's just nothing around it. And any, any dribbler out there that kind of just uses this stuff and focuses and wants to apply it to winning because me like i said people i don't really care about winning on 2k i don't even care about being the best i gave that up a long time ago in fact ever since i started doing youtube you're gonna give that up i, I wanted to be the best in 2k 16 you know I that was my little thing i, I was a comp player all that stuff and you kind of just give it up to do content because you got nothing to really prove to nobody anymore because once you figure out that every year is a different 2k you know, you could be the best at 2K16 and then 17 comes out. You got to do it all over again. You could be the best at this. I, I'm, I'm a content creator, like my boy G-Man said. I don't want to be the greatest no more. I want y'all to be the greatest. And for y'all to be the greatest, if you take the stuff that I'm teaching you and you apply it, you can be the greatest. Like any dribbler, you have the potential to be the greatest on this game because you have the stick skill that's what it comes down to you can do the best movement and anybody with the best movement can be some of the best guards on the game so take what i'm teaching you apply it to whatever you want to do whether you want to be the best fucking iso god come out with the best mixtape whether you want to go to comp stage and do this stuff in the comp stage and mix it in with the meta stuff you can do that and it will benefit you trust me you can literally use what i'm teaching you it's no longer about this or that this is why I do what I do, and this is why I'm the best at doing what I do. I am Universal AIDS. I love y'all. 500K. This is the dribble tutorial. I got more coming. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Like the video. Turn the noties. We are not done. This is the basic dribble tutorial. I had to get everybody up to speed. Let me know what other moves y'all want to learn, because the next one is not going to be this simple. So you definitely want to learn this stuff right now and figure it out. And you will, because I believe in you. And even if you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you. So don't believe in yourself if you don't believe in yourself. Believe in me who believes in you. And with that being said, I love y'all. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. More content coming soon. Dribble God Sensei came back with another one. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for 500K subscribers. I'm here. I'm back on my grind. I hope all of y'all have a beautiful day. Peace and love, people. We in a good vibe. Y'all have a beautiful day. Peace. I live in a constant state of fear and misery. Do you miss me anymore? And I don't even notice why.